Good Saturday evening, everybody, from the First Fence Doppler 3 Weather Center in downtown Memphis. I'm meteorologist Austin Onick with a quick update as to what's going on tonight overhead. Some of the Mid-South astronomy events and some decent amounts of things, too, for stargazing lined up perfectly with the fact that we have some decently dry air in place, very warm evening, very comfortable for being outdoors, and no problems being seen outside where it comes to weather, at least for right now. More details on the forecast coming up on News Channel 3 on air and online. And more of that coming up a little bit later. Later on tonight, sunset tonight will be at about 6:24. Sunrise tomorrow morning at about 7:08. Continuing to lose daylight over the next several days as we work our way down toward the equinox around December 21st. Heading into tonight should be a great view of the Hunter's Moon, and it's going to be a super moon as well. Moonrise will be taking place at 6:27 this evening. Heading toward it near full at this point in time. Moon will be setting early tomorrow morning around sunrise, about 7:20. 9 a.m. and rising again a little later tomorrow night at 7:10. But again, 6:27 tonight, and again that will be something to see. It'll be a little bit larger as a supermoon. If you're going to be taking a look at that, the next three moons will actually be supermoons, getting a little bit closer to the Earth than what we have seen in quite some time. So it will be just a bit bigger than what you have seen in two parts of the last several months and weeks. So if you'd like to see a supermoon, today and tonight is your best chance, and then also into November and December as well. Viewing conditions outdoors tonight, not looking too bad. Seeing again some pretty quiet conditions and dry out there. Humidity levels will be up there by about 3 o'clock in the morning, but not entirely all that high as a dry spell of air sets over the Mid-South. So some good viewing out there. Venus, Mars, and Saturn will be around Scorpius in the southern skies tonight. And that super moon rise again will be at 6.27 p.m. on Saturday. Coming up tonight, several uh, flyovers of various satellites. First one will be Tiangong 1, just around 7 o'clock. It'll be rising from the southwest skies, west-southwest technically, just to the north of Venus by just a little bit. And then going almost across the sky, coming very close to Lyra, the bright star uh, Vega in the constellation Lyra, before going across the sky and settling around Triangulum into the northeastern skies and the opposite side of the sky. That won't be entirely too bright. It'll be about a positive 1.1 magnitude, and that may make it a little bit difficult to be seen. Likewise, a little bit brighter, but not by much. The OTV space plane, otherwise known as the X-37B, will be able to be seen at about 7.07 tonight, just after the Tiangong-1 Chinese space station passes overhead. Should be around mid-view point at about 7.10 this evening heading toward the area close to the moon by the time it hits about 7.12 tonight, so a good opportunity to see that. And a super bright but very close to the horizon view of the International Space Station that will be taking place at just after 7.24, rising just underneath the Big Dipper, north-northwesterly skies, and then fading just before about 7.27 or so between Camelopardalis and Perseus over around the northeast horizon as it fades into Earth's shadow. We'll have updates on this available at WREG.com slash weather and also on my social media pages Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, blah 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 all that stuff available if you want to take a look at what goes on there and of course we'll talk about weather and the complete forecast coming up tonight on News Channel 3 at 6 and 10 providing the Alabama-Tennessee game gets over with here right about on time. We'll have more details also again at so stop by and learn more about weather and tonight's astronomy viewing at those locations. I'm meteorologist Austin Onick. Thanks for joining us for tonight's Mid-South Astronomy Viewing with Skyblog 3.